Hi, I'm Akil Mohuddin, and today I will be walking you through how computers add binary numbers, and by the end of this video, you should be able to build a circuit to add two binary numbers together, each with a maximum value of 15. So let me start you off by giving you a walk around and demonstration of the circuit, and then later I will show you how to build it. So here on this dip switch, I have the top four values corresponding to A, and the bottom four values corresponding to B for A plus B. Now for the LEDs, I have them set to this one is the first output bit, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and the last is the carryout for the fourth bit. And if you don't know anything of what I'm talking about at all, I would recommend you go back and watch my previous videos. So now time for a demonstration. So if I have A set to 5 and B set to 6, we know the output should be 11. So let's do that. See this output we have here is 11 in binary. Now let's try a simple one. 1 plus 1. The output is 2. Now let's try 15 plus 15 because this is the maximum value that we can do. Now the output of that is this, which is 30 in binary. Okay, so let's isolate just one of these adders and take a look at the circuit for it. Now in the previous video we talked about how all you need to add two binary numbers is an XOR and an AND gate. Now in the case that both inputs are true, the AND gate is true and that is the carry out which goes to the carry in of the next adder. It's kind of like how if you do 9 plus 1, the answer is 0, but then you carry over a 1 into the next digit, meaning that the 1's digit is 0, and then you carry over a 1 into the 10's digit. The same concept is here, but just for binary numbers. But the problem is now that we are adding A plus B plus the carry out of the previous adder, or the carry in of the current adder. So we're trying to add three things together in a single X or AND gate combo, and you just can't do that. So the solution is we split it up and use the associative property. Now we're trying to add A plus B plus C, technically. So we add A plus B, and then take that and add it to C. The circuit goes like this. We have one X or AND gate combo, which adds A plus B, and then we have the output of that going to the input of another X or AND gate combo, where the second input for that is the carry in. The output of that combo will go to the LED and then the carry out will go to the carry in of the next adder. I would recommend pausing the video now and copying down this circuit because you will reference it at least a million times if you build it. Now remember that is only a 1-bit adder so to make it a multi-bit adder you simply daisy chain these circuits together like this where the carry out goes to the carry in of the next adder. This is great because you only really need to know how to build one circuit, and you just copy it eight times. Alright guys, I hope you learned something, and please like this video if you liked it, because it really helped me out, and subscribe to see more like this. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.